Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video I'm so excited to do. I've actually been thinking about doing this video for a while. And if you've read the title, I'm talking about Disney and makeup, specifically Disney makeup collabs. And I wanted to share the um, collection that I have of makeup that is Disney collabs and then talk about just Disney collabs in general and what is currently available and which ones maybe are the ones I like and which are the ones I would pass on and so on and so forth. So if you follow any sort of makeup trends at all or just what is out in the market you will see that Disney does collaborate with a lot of different makeup brands and I never really noticed it until I started watching Samantha March's weekly series will I buy it and pretty much every every week there's a different Disney collab but I never really noticed it before because I only noticed the ones of the brands that I kind of geared towards because Disney doesn't promote them the brands do so now that I'm much more into makeup and what's out there I do realize how many there, you know there's how much is out there so I wanted to share one so if you are a makeup lover and love Disney kind of which ones I think are worth it as well as if you are just a Disney fan and you want to incorporate some Disney into your makeup kind of share with you again which ones I appreciate and which ones are out there so let's go ahead and get started now I am gonna try and focus on the ones that are still available, but I am gonna mention a few that are currently um, sold out or unavailable. And the, this one is one of those that's currently sold out or I think it's it's just dis, it's discontinued and it is the last princess um, from essence and this is a mascara that I really enjoy it's a 499 mascara I personally like the waterproof one this is the mascara of my choice that I wear at Disney World because it is waterproof and I can go on water rides and get wet and or if it rains this isn't going to smear on you know smudge on me it's going to last so when they had this Disney princess collab the um, the waterproof one was for Ariel and they had different ones I think they had Snow White this was the only one that I purchased it was the same price it's the same mascara it just has Ariel and you can kind of see it has Ariel on the um, on the tube so nothing really big I would have bought this mascara anyway um, I'm actually running this one is about to run out so it's gonna be sad when I do have to throw it out because you can't get it anymore but um, you know just kind of these are types of things where you can kind of incorporate Disney into something that you're gonna buy anyway the next is something that's also no longer sold, but I got this at Target and this was a three piece set of Mickey inspired, actually you're just Mickey um, nail polish. So there's a white, a red, and then this one has like Mickey glitter. So if you kind of see there, that is what is in the, uh, it's just a clear with these little, I guess, confetti. So it's a lot of fun. I have only, I've had these, I want to say two or three years so i've actually had these for a while and i want to say i've used them maybe once or twice each the white i don't even think i've ever used the white um and i have just i don't honestly i don't do my nails very often and i don't wear red very often but i still had to get it it wasn't very expensive it was at target so these are types of things when you see them pick them up because they don't last long and they sell out and again, I don't, I don't think I'll ever throw it out. I don't even think I'll probably use it much. Probably gonna maybe use this one um, pretty soon. But you know, I, I had honestly, I'd forgotten I had these because they were at the bottom of the drawer. But still a lot of fun. The next is something that is still available and it is from the movie Cruella and it is from Sally Hansen, the gel collection. Now this is um, when I do, when I actually do my nails, this is a nail polish that I do really like uh, because it's a gel, but it doesn't require the UV light. And I got the shade, now it comes in a couple different shades. I got the shade that's just the most neutral and it's 2-2 the ballet I think it is and it's just it's a very pretty ballet pink they also obviously have a red and they have some other shades as well this is um, I picked this up you can catch it on sale usually these are $9.99 which is the average price I did get to this um, pick this up on Black Friday for $5.99 so you can always catch it on sale and they sell it on Amazon as well I got mine at Ulta so these are great you do need to get the cover the top coat which is like the gel that seals it to go with this but that goes with any of the shades um, or any of the Sally Hansen gel but this is great you know fun um, I love the movie Cruella it was really great but actually um, I was looking at these before I ever saw the movie so again just a fun way to incorporate Disney into your daily routine 
Another fun way to incorporate Disney into your makeup routine is a hand mirror. So I have, you might've seen me use this on a handful of occasions when I use this in a video, and it is a Sleeping Beauty mirror. I believe this is from Besame Cosmetics. I actually got this on Shop Disney when it, um, when it was on there. It, this was one of the few items that was available on Shop Disney. So I had gotten this on Shop Disney. It has since sold out. It is discontinued. You can find this on Macari or Poshmark sometimes, but you're not going to find it. It's no longer being sold, but I love it. It's a beautiful hand mirror. I believe Tati Westbrook has a Snow White version of this that was sold before this one. So I'm hoping that they come out with another hand mirror. It's a really good quality. I use it all the time. It's pretty. Sleeping Beauty was my favorite princess growing up so it's a lot of fun now this one's not being sold anymore but this one is so this one is just came out this is from morphe cosmetics and it is mickey um, i believe this is the one and only collection this runs 18 dollars, but on ulta if you use their website or use their app you can get a three dollar and fifty three dollar and fifty cents coupon for anything over eight um over fifteen dollars so you can get this for you know you can get 350 off of eighteen dollars um what is that fourteen fifty so and then plus tax so it's a lot of fun and this one is actually this one's quite heavy but this one's not um really good quality mirror so you know really great so it's just a lot of fun also some hand mirrors that are sold um i'm going to talk about ColourPop in a minute but ColourPop a lot of times will have hand mirrors that with certain collections and a lot of times they are disney collections they have a really really cute baby yoda one that i totally want but i'm trying to resist because i how many hand mirrors do i actually need um but it's really cute then they also had one with the um with the hocus pocus uh collection that was really cute like as a cat i'm not big on hocus pocus but it was a really cute hand mirror as well so those are really quite quite um fun so this i will post a link below of where you can buy this and there's actually a whole collection um on this as well so while we're talking about the hand mirror, let's go ahead and talk about Morphe. So Morphe did come out with a Mickey and Friends collection. It's Mickey and Friends and he there's a couple palettes. So there's a really big, large palette that is $32. Then there is a smaller palette that is 14. And then there's a brush set and a lipstick set. The lipstick set, the packaging is really, really cute. However, you have to buy all three and they're $20. So there's a red, a really bright pink and a nude. The only one of those three that I would use is the nude. So I actually was going to buy that and then I decided not to. I just ended up getting the mirror. But it's cute. The the I'm not a big fan of Morphe and that's just why I didn't get the palettes. Also, the palettes um, are just <laughs> really, really bright. The smaller palette is Mickey color. So it's red, yellow, black, and white. Um, I, I would not even know where to begin with that. So, and then the Mickey and Friends Truth Be Told Artistry palette is, it's really nice and big, but it's also a lot of colors and brights. And again, I'm not a big fan of Morphe um, as a cosmetic brand. And I, there's nothing I would be able to do with all those colors. So I passed on that. But if you're a big Mickey fan or you like, you know, usually, a lot of bright colors and maybe that's for you so since we're talking about ulta i'm going to talk about um ulta actually came out with three collections that were all pixar inspired so it covered toy story uh, Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo. And it came out with each set, it came out with certain things, like everyone came out with a palette, everyone came out with a lip gloss and a lip liner set, and then some of them came out with like a blush and a highlighter. Um, and they all, I mean, the pricing was pretty good and also, also packaging is pretty good. The Nemo, the Finding Nemo had a pro brush set. The Monsters Inc. had a sponge duo, duo I mean, I'm oh, sorry, a sponge trio, which was really, really cute. They all came out with a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. And honestly, the Toy Story one was pretty much right up my alley. I just have so much. The they all had like a blush, um, a blush duo, a lip duo, and a lip oil. That was pretty interesting as well. So they all had a lot of different things. I did pick up one thing from the collection, and the thing that I picked up is the uh, it is called You've Got a Friend in Me makeup case. It's just so cute. This is obviously from Toy Story. I loved the cow print inside. It's just really cute, compact. 
um, you know, you can kind of, and it has obviously Toy Story here. So this ran $25 um, retail price. I did get it on sale, but it's just really, really cute. And I didn't need any other makeup products right now, um, but I just had to get this. So this was really, really adorable. Okay, so we can talk about collabs and Disney without talking about ColourPop. And ColourPop seems to be the one that has the most collabs. So a couple years ago, I don't even remember where I bought this. It was either on Shop Disney, it was online, it was either on Shop Disney or maybe Hot Topic, but I bought a villain's um, set. And I didn't even realize what brand it was. I just loved the colors. So it was a lipstick, a uh, lip gloss and a highlighter and honestly it and it was ColourPop. So it was Dilly, Disney Villains and it was for Hades. The Hades, I only picked Hades because I liked the color story. Um, this is no longer available, but I have to say this is one of my favorite um, lipsticks. It's just a beautiful, let's see if it focus. It's a beautiful nude. Um, I wear it uh, I wear it a lot. I wouldn't say I wear it all the time. I do wear it a lot. It's very comfortable. It's a really good lipstick. Um, the gloss is really pretty. It's got like really nice um, shift to it. And then this was really the first highlighter that I've had. It is a Super Shock highlighter. It is um, Hades. Everybody's got a weakness. And this was the first ever highlighter that I ever owned. And it was like, I guess maybe two or three years ago. So um, I don't reach for this too too often because I've gotten other probably better quality highlighters um, since then. And this one is kind of old, but I can't get come to throw it out because I just, I it's hard for me to throw out anything Disney, but this is no longer available, but this was my first dive into Disney makeup. So I did mention a little while ago that my favorite Disney princess growing up was Sleeping Beauty. Well, as I've gotten older, my favorite Disney princess is Rapunzel. I love Tangled. I think it's just the most underrated uh, Disney movie. And my son's name is Ryder, and it's actually spelled with an I. I had, we named him before we saw, I ever saw the movie, but they had a lipstick, and I guess it's a lip cream, and it is based through, so it's Tangled and it is the shade Flynn. So I wish it was named Ryder, but it's not. It is just named Flynn. The only downside about it, it does have the Disney collection on the front, but it doesn't have the princess. So it, I wish it had had something of Tangled on the actual packaging, but um, this was sold out for the longest time. And finally it came back in stock and I did order it when they had free shipping. So I, I really like it. It's a really pretty shade, but this is one where I literally bought just for the princess and the packaging. So this next product I did a short of and basically wearing all the shades, and it is the Heart of Gold Super Shock Collection. I typically don't keep packaging. I will probably eventually throw this out, but I like the way that it's kind of in here. I think it's pretty. It has all the princesses on the back. So right now, I, I have the space to keep it like this. Um, I think at some point I will probably declutter some of the shades because some of the blues I am just not going to wear that often but right now I do love it I do my favorite shades in this are um, reflection and how far we'll go and the um, I see the light which is the Rapunzel shade so those are my favorites but I really do even the blues and the turquoise I can so probably see kind of using it as a punch of color on you know more of a neutral look and using it I'll just kind of give a little bit of fun especially when I'm at a Disney park so it's a lot of fun especially when you're in a Disney park you can kind of just have more fun so I do recommend this this is on sale currently um, it is available now I don't know how long it's going to be available some of the shades are hard to get and they are selling some of the shades on Ulta so you can buy the shades individually as well you don't have to buy the whole vault but it is a lot of fun and I I love the super shock shadows i'm going to be talking about the super shock shadows when i do my uh how i do my makeup for disney drugstore or more affordable options and super shock shadow you know spoiler alert is going to be one of my my tips now right after i bought the heart of gold collection they came out with a 
Tinkerbell collection. So I only bought a few things. I was limited, I limited myself, but I did buy both of the lip, I guess these are lip stains. So I did buy both shades and they are in the shades Tinkerbell and Clap If You Believe. I actually like both of them very, you know, a lot. They're really, they do stain your lips. They're a really good neutral color. So these are a lot of fun. I love the packaging. I think they really nailed the packaging with Tinkerbell. I think it's just absolutely beautiful, you know, so these are really great if you are thinking about anything and you don't want to maybe get an eyeshadow palette this is these are a lot of fun and then i also did get two of the super shock shadows so i got the shade um fly to your heart and it is the kind of light pink version and then i got the um never grow up so it is kind of and honestly I got, I didn't get the green one. I was never gonna wear the green one. I thought I was going to like the lighter one more. I really love Never Grow Up. Never Grow Up is definitely my favorite of these two, but I can definitely see myself wearing both of them. I wear them, I've worn them a lot um, just locally and they're just a lot of fun. And again, the packaging with Tinkerbell on the cover is fun. So just, it's adorable. Now, obviously, ColourPop is known for their eyeshadow palettes. That's what they do really, really well. And I have a few. Now, the first one I received as a gift, and I got it a couple years ago. I don't know how long this collection has been out, but someone knew that I love Disney, so they gave this to me as a gift. And it is the Disney Designer Collection. It's a princess thing. So here it is. I've used it quite a bit. This, I would say, on YouTube, it is not as a popular palette. Maybe it was when it first came out. I love it and I used it not really knowing and it's a really good, I love the shimmers. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun. I love how they have the signatures of the princesses up here. Uh, I use this, I've used this quite a bit. Um, so I really enjoy this. This one's a lot of fun. Then I bought the Hocus Pocus. Now again, not the biggest Hocus Pocus fan. I've only seen, I've never seen the entire movie from beginning to finish. I've seen parts of it, but I've never seen the whole movie. But I saw this palette last year and I thought, oh, it's really cute. And then it sold out. So when it came back available, they did a re-release, I decided to purchase it. And it is the Gather Round Sisters. So they had a newer version this year, but I decided to go with this one, mainly because I like to store things evenly and it's the same size as the princess one. So I do prefer of the two, I do prefer this one more, but again, I think it's just a really great palette. I watched some videos, people really seem to like this palette. This you know color scheme is a lot of fun i gotta be honest i haven't had a chance to use it yet i just i got it recently and i haven't had a chance to use it yet but it is a lot of fun and i've swatched it you know so i'm looking forward to using this and probably a lot next halloween the next one i purchased solely because of the packaging i mean i can't even i it's just it's baby yoda so i'm not big on green eyeshadow so it is pretty much now it's a usable green eyeshadow palette because it has like a like a peach here and some gold and like a brown here but it's still green um but i have used it and i really like it like it's a very usable green palette but that's not why i bought it i bought it for baby yoda and no regrets it's adorable they have since come out with a full collection um, with the Mandalorian. So they came out with another palette, same size of the Mandalorian. And they came out with a Baby Yoda uh, uh, mirror that I talked about a little while ago and some other things. I really, really want it. And I have held off because I would literally be buying it strictly for the packaging. It's adorable, but I'm, I, I have held off and not purchasing it. But if you really like the Mandalorian or you like any of those shades, I think their you know, ColourPop eyeshadows are really great quality, especially for the price. The This one I think is six, was 16 um, full price and you can always, they always have sales. So just sign up for their email list, you can get sales. And then the Princess one, I don't even know because I, um, I got it as a gift. I think it runs 26, but again, you can always find it on sale. The Hocus Pocus one was 22, and I recently saw it on sale on Black Friday for $11. So if you wait for a good sale, you can get it. Um, I 
I didn't pay $11, I paid full price, but it is a really great palette. So um, really fun. And again, it's a fun way to get some Disney makeup and with ColourPop, you're not gonna pay that much money. Okay, so now we're gonna move into some things that are a little bit more pricey. Obviously, you're gonna get maybe a little bit better quality, but um, this next one I saw and I needed to have, and it is the Sigma Cin Cinderella collection. It is absolutely stunning. This is, I bought the full set. Like I just, I just went gung-ho, I bought the full set. This is the makeup bag that came with, I love this. And so the full set came with um, a eyeshadow palette, a blush highlighter duo, and then a lip, um, a lip gloss and lip, I guess, uh, cream set so let and then also brushes so well let's start with the brushes first so let we go with the brushes it is a five piece set of sigma brushes sigma brushes are fantastic so that's really great it is the um f80 a flat kabuki the um f10 powder blush the e40 tapered blending the e30 pencil and then finally the E55 shading, eye shading. So it's a really good collection. Definitely they didn't skimp on the quality. So sometimes these sets, um, you know, they skimp on the quality because of the packaging. They didn't, it is definitely, you know, Sigma good quality. Uh, and the one thing I love about it is the detail. So if you can see the details, it says Cinderella and then they have, it has Cinderella on the actual handle. So that's really beautiful. Um, I haven't even come to be able to use these yet because they're just so pretty. I don't wanna get them dirty, but I will eventually use them. The next is the lip set, which was the lip duo. So it's the slip cream and the lip gloss. Again, um, I've test, I've played around with these, but I have not used them like for a full look. Looking forward to it. We're headed to Disney. So as this video goes up, we will already be at Disney World. I'm planning to bring the entire collection with me on the trip and hopefully wearing this um, one of the days or maybe even multiple days of our trip. So really looking forward to it. I have tried this and it really looks great on. So it's just totally up my alley. The next is the blush. Um, highlighter duo and this is the embossing the embossing is absolutely beautiful the the blush is beautiful the highlight is gorgeous the embossing though makes it hard to use because it's so beautiful the blush is called ever after and then the highlighter is called a glow so really really beautiful this was my first kind of dive into sigma makeup and i'm so far i'm really impressed so i really like how everything is very cohesive this will also be going with me on our trip and then the final um is the final item in the collection is the eyeshadow palette so a lot of youtubers have kind of um demonstrated this and showed this and Angela Bright who is an amazing makeup artist and does amazing eye tutorials has done I think four tutorials on this eyeshadow palette she absolutely loves it so now this is something out of my you know level of comfort I'm not big on colors so I will be using her tutorials to kind of try and copy her looks but I loved the packaging so much so I did buy it for the packaging totally but i knew sigma was a really great brand and i would um, enjoy using it so and also it does come with a sigma brush as well so that was great so really looking forward to using this i think it's stunning this is still available i believe it is limited edition but it is still available so i will post a link below and finally for my personal disney makeup collection we're going to be talking about the House of Ciliage Disney collab with Mickey and Minnie. This set, I eyed forever. I just thought it was so beautiful, but it was expensive. I mean, it was pricey. The full set was $220. Now, they had a sale, a pre-Black Friday sale for 50% off, which was still $110 but i wanted it so bad and i literally this was one house of Ciliage is not known for makeup um it's known for perfume but i wanted it for the packaging like just you know gung-ho wanted it for the packaging and i got it now one thing i will say is it was 
the, the box. I don't normally keep boxes. I throw everything away. And the box, the presentation was one that I am keeping. It was beautiful. Um, here's a video of when I opened the box. The presentation was just beautiful. And then underneath that was the makeup bag. So it's just so much fun to get that. And I absolutely loved it. But this is what I am wearing today. And I'm happy to say that the quality is great. The quality, I don't think it's worth $220 for everything, but 110 with this makeup, because this is really a good quality. Like this is a very good quality makeup bag. This isn't something that you're gonna get like an Ipsy. This is a really good thick quality bag. So is it worth $110? I don't know, it is to me, because I'm, I'm very happy that I purchased it. So, showing you what I got. Now, it does come with two lip colors. It comes with a nude, and then it's a playful nude and a playful red. However, there's only one lipstick case. The lipstick case has Mickey on one side, mini i mean i'm sorry mini on one side mickey on the other and then it says disney and house of sillage um and you basically take the insert and you put it in so you put it in and then you can take this out so once i'm done with the nude i can replace it with the red so you you could definitely use the red if you wanted to, but you are not gonna have the case for it. Um, the nude lipstick is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful nude lipstick. Really, really like it. This packaging though is um, incredible. I mean, it's magnetic. It's just, it's really, it just feels high end. So again, I bought it for the packaging and packaging hasn't disappointed. Then there's the lip gloss. I'm wearing that today as well. Um, it just says lip gloss <laughs> and it has again mini on one side mickey on the other and then says disney i don't know if you can see that it says disney house of um uh house of sillage but really great lip gloss i'm wearing the playful nude again with the lip gloss so um very very thin uh applicator and it's kind of hard to get the lip gloss out you're not going to like put too much on but i had to go in a couple times that's my only downside of it but you can kind of see the shade right there so really love it again bought it for the packaging we'll totally be taking this on our trip the next is the one item that really did surprise me um this one really surprised me i i got it because it was in the set but i really didn't think I, I needed it well i didn't need it i didn't need any of this but it is the blush duo it's the complexion duo has Mickey on the front. Again, very, very luxe. It is the blush and a highlighter. And I really like it. I I was surprised because I thought it was really very pale, but on the skin, it just applied beautifully. The highlight is more subtle than what I typically have already in my collection. So it does serve a purpose because it is more subtle. So it's really, you know, it's great for the parks. You don't need to be blinding with highlight. At, you know when you're at Magic Kingdom so um, this is a really great highlight so definitely we'll be taking this with me as well was very pleasantly surprised with this and then the last part is the eyeshadow um, quint so it's an eyeshadow quint obviously it has mini on it and it is like a purple pink um, quint and again I was really impressed with the quality the quality is really good it's kind of like a satin finish um, but it was very easy to apply and I was really, really happy with it. So again, is the whole collection worth 220? I wouldn't have paid that. 110, I'm happy with it. And I'm definitely glad I bought it because again, I mean, even just to have this lipstick in my purse, like makes me happy. <laughs> So that's the extent of my Disney makeup collection. Um, it's a lot, but I do have fun with it. And again, sometimes I just bought it for the packaging, but fortunately I do try and pick and choose and get good quality. Um, so I do, I will say, I try to avoid things like box lunch or Hot Topic where they're just like their brand. You're not gonna, unless you're buying it for like your 12 year old niece, I would avoid that. You're not gonna get the best quality. But you know, ColourPop is a really good place to start. A couple collabs they have right now, still they have the Frozen 2, so Elsa and Anna still, that one's still available. The Princess one, 
they have the lipsticks, they have the house, um, I'm sorry, the Heart of Gold Super Shock Vault is still available, Hocus Pocus, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Lizzie McGuire, I'm a little old for Liz Lizzie McGuire, but they had a collab with her as well. So all of those things, I think Bambi, they also had a set for Bambi, I think that's still available. So a good thing is always to start at go to ColourPop and just type in Disney and it will bring up all the different collabs and all the products that are available. So, um, you know, that's a really good place to start if you want to have, you know, incorporate some Disney or if you have a Disney fan in your in your life and you're looking for a gift. I think this is I was really excited to receive that palette a few years ago um, because it was something I didn't know about. Uh, also, Dose of Colors right now has a Donald Duck and Daisy Duck uh, collab, which I didn't even know about. So that's fun. I think Heart of Heart I Heart Re Revolution has a Disney collab. I did mention the Morphe one. Um, so there's a lot of things out there. And, you know, and then also I think Alamar, Alamar Cosmetics, I think that's the brand. It's an indie brand. It is, um, they have the new Encanto movie. They're doing the collab with the new Encanto movie. So that's a really fun one. And I've heard that's a really good brand. It's an indie brand. And I, so I think that's fun that Disney is reaching out to different types of brands because, you know, you have ColourPop, which is gonna cost you a few dollars. You can get a Super Shock Saddle for six, seven dollars, um, full price, or you can spend two hundred and twenty dollars at House of Celiage. Like I love that they collab with different brands so that it can hit different price points for everybody. So with that, I do have a giveaway. So I did want to do a little giveaway with some of my favorite products from that are Disney inspired and it's going to be um, it's going to run for two weeks. So if you've ever followed any of my videos, it's going to run the same. All you need to do is like this video and make sure you are subscribed to my channel and post a comment below which is your favorite Disney character. Let's just do that. Which is your favorite Disney character? Which is your favorite Disney collab? Just something to that effect. Um, an additional entry will be on Instagram. There will be a post of the prizes and you can just post there as well. And then if you share the post or share the video on Insta Story or Instagram, that will be an additional five entries. So anybody that shares on either their um, as a story or as a post, you will get an additional five entries. So with that, what are the prizes? First up, it's going to be the eyeshadow palette, the princess eyeshadow palette. It's still in the box, but I did show it to you a little while ago. So it is the princess, it's a princess thing. It is that palette, um, I believe it's $26. So that is what I'm giving away here. Then I'm giving away one of the Tinkerbell lip um, stains. The one I'm giving away, I believe this is Tinkerbell. Yes, this is the one that is Tinkerbell. So it will be the Tinkerbell lip stain. So the palette and the lip stain. And we got to get some Pixar in there. And that is going to be the um, the makeup bag from Ulta. The You've Got a Friend in Me makeup bag with the little cow print. So the winner will get the makeup bag, the palette, and the lip stain and all together. So that is it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, the, the giveaway will run for two weeks. All the information will be below and that is it. So if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.